like. I thought I'm going to get a lot of money out of you. And um, nice watch, nice coat. <laughs> nice watch, nice watch. I seen it before. Dory! Oh, she thought I was... Oh, yeah! I Fabulous. My name's Nikia. My name's Mike. Pleased to meet you. And welcome to our video series. And yes, it's true. I married a traveller. Today we're opening up all about our backgrounds, who we are, how we met, and why I decided to marry a traveller. So when me and Mike first met, we literally knew nothing about each other. Like we didn't even know that we both existed. And like I say, we were two complete strangers. We met in a boxing event and it was like love at first sight. There's one thing I didn't know after that night is that I wanted to be with her for the rest of my life. Nah, and, um, he's always been a romantic. So as soon as I started talking to her, I said, uh, are you my friend's girlfriend? And he's like, she was like, no, she's on single. I was like, boom, <laughs> locked on. <laughs> so this picture was literally taken, I'd say about Mm, like two minutes before I met my husband. This is obviously what I wore. And then this was mine and my husband's first ever picture together. Uh, I don't know why we took a picture. We were so like awkward as you can tell, but yeah, that's the, the first time I ever saw him. So like he's buying all this bottle service, right? And I don't drink, but I didn't want to look like I was bringing over a like loser. Things, kind of so I'm taking the drink and I'm chucking it over my shoulder because I didn't want to look stupid. And he's absolutely you drink, I wasn't real dry, I had a couple of free drinks. <laughs> and then after the night, come to the hotel. No. I'll tell you the truth, most travellers think of like normal settled girls as real easy. Oh, I thought this girl's different, she's unbelievable. I wouldn't let him kiss me. Uh, she wouldn't let me kiss her, but I'd just give her a peck on the cheek. I was like, can I have a kiss? He was going like that with the Vaseline. So when I saw Mike, I thought I'm going to get a lot of money out of you. And nice watch, nice coat. <laughs> nice watch, nice coat. <laughs> I've seen it before. Oh, she thought I was. Oh yeah. As as travellers would say, she thought I was a grunter. Oh yeah. You know, she thought that's thought, a grunter. Oh baby. Easy. Tiger number one. I'm gonna get a few Greg sausages. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I genuinely thought like, oh, I've hit the jackpot, yeah. Well, she was onto one. And then, right? I know that might sound bad, but listen, I'm a young girl. I'm from Doncaster. Doncaster's rough. Yeah. And I've, I've seen I've him walking too, around like Pablini with the watch and the nice, you know, jacket on. The moment it changed, we went to, on our first date. Then day after, we went on our first date, and he started talking, and he was so geeky and intelligent. And I thought, oh no, I'm gonna fall in love with this man. <laughs> she hates if you fall in love with me. Oh, She's like, oh, because I'm so, no. I can be annoying. Because I've been married before, right? And love ain't, I just couldn't be bothered with it again. And I then, think what worked really well for me and Nikia as well, the fact that, you know, she's beautiful and so many men chat her up and I don't have any game at all. Like I love of, that! A lot of traveling lads have got this mad game and they're talking to people yeah. and they know what I really don't. I prefer a nice, intelligent, mature, older man My that really knows how to take care of a woman. I really, really am attracted to that. So, the whole grabbing situation is obviously very well known amongst travelers and gypsy. When Michael first met me, he didn't grab me and it, it will, it's not something that he practices. I think it's very outdated. I think it's more a teenager yeah. thing when teenagers are caught in and, uh, you know. You didn't have to grab. Like, no, I've got, never. He's got a strong personality. Truthfully, like. I've some, never, something I've never ever done. I wouldn't like it if somebody, you know, grabbed my sister <laughs> and was trying to stick lips on her. Maybe he's like, it's like not something you do. He's got a different mentality, you know? It's just wrong, isn't it? Uh, Why should a man be able to grab a woman when it's not even what she probably wants. Like, it's just, that's class of sexual assault. Do you know what it is a thing? But well, it's a thing amongst different groups of travelers. Well, it ain't a thing against me. And I tell you now, if a traveler came up to me and did that, I'd, I'd go to prison for what I do. It's not something that I've ever done. And I would really look down on people who would do that. I'd think, well, what you are you never had the, You did not have the balls to grab me. So when I found out I was a traveler, to me, it wasn't a big deal. Because, you know, we have family members that are married to the gypsy community. I'm not going to lie, we've had a lot of bad experiences with gypsies. So my mum and my family would have preferred me not to be with a traveller just from the experiences we've had with them. What was the real big concern? It was more the age for me. But once I've got past the age and I've realised that 
the age is actually a benefit for me and it's better to be an older man's you know treasure than a young man's fool i'm cool huge age gap but you know we both live such big lives i mean you've been married and divorced so that was a big thing for me there is a 16 year age gap between me and my husband which i absolutely love i knew straight away that you wasn't a, a traveler obviously i didn't look at traveler non-traveler yeah. race this race the we fact really that she was a that. really strong intelligent woman was really appealing because i thought well she's really got eyes for that and that was the same thing for me, like, I went looking at him, like, travel and non-travel. I wanted to know that he was an intelligent man, he could look after a woman, protect a woman, know how to go about his business in life, because I need a strong man, I can't be with no gimp, like an idiot. So when I knew that, it didn't really bother me. So when I told my family that I want to be a couple with Mike, it was 50-50. Uh, my mum was really happy for me, my dad was over the moon, uh, they were all cool. But then there were some other people in my family that were like, no, don't be with a traveller, he'll ruin your life, he's too old. And at the end of the day, it's who I love and who I want. To be honest with you, I really, I've always just done my own thing. If I told any of my family about Nakia, it's only out of common courtesy for myself to say, you know, um, I've met this nice girl. And I'd have only ever told family members that really cared about me. Mm. And the ones that really did care about me were like, you know, lovely. I'm glad you've met somebody really nice. Ah, let's keep it real. His family don't like me, and I really don't care. But they genuinely never even gave me a chance. That's the thing that pissed me off. You know what it like, is? Like, all my family gave him a chance, you know? But no one gave me the chance. The thing is with travellers, and this is the God's honest truth, um, very, very judgmental um, over everybody, and especially over, you know, settled people. Mm -hmm. And all travellers think they are the master race over over normal settled people. I don't mean saying that in a bad way, but most travellers, I've got the attitude, we know best. But even gorgeous don't think that way that we're the best. I think traveller like <sighs> travellers are just very ignorant towards people. And I just think why? It's that superiority that's really annoying and especially to the Kia because she's come really successful now uh, through social media. Yeah. And there's the biggest wave of hate from travellers because they're like how can you be popular just because you're you're not a traveler mm. you know and it's it's really bad because they they Definitely. really think in their own mind they're better than everybody else yeah. and i think when you let go of that yeah. as a traveling person yourself when you let go of that mentality you can really learn and really get on in life yeah definitely you know from experience um travelers are allowed to date non-travelers uh one of my family members is with a traveler she's a gorgeous like me so yeah i mean i don't know much about i'm gonna let michael answer this one but from my opinion i think anyone can date anyone if you're in love traveling parents will tell their sons not to marry uh, a normal settled girl i know um they'll discourage them they'll say no you know and they'll, they'll try and steer away from it because obviously they'll be influenced by the mother. I've said to you in the past, if a lad takes a normal girl back to meet his mother... Then she's the one. Then then she is the one. But if you don't, if he doesn't take you back to meet the mum, then unfortunately you are the side thing. Yeah, you're not recognised really. You're not him, and if that's he, sad. And if, I don't think travellers should do that to people. I did feel unaccepted. Like, when I was staying on these camps, every girl was looking at me weird because i just didn't go on the same way as them and i'm not i don't want to go on the same way as them i have no interest in acting that way i just was myself and a lot of people didn't like that getting divorced in the traveling community is very frowned upon and i was always you know looked upon as the girl that ruined a marriage when i got with him when he was single i never ruined nothing let's just make that clear yeah i don't think it was the whole reason of me being a gorgeous it was more of the fact what package he came along with that made me unaccepted. I get so much hate because I am as real as they come. I say my mind and I don't care about no one or anything. I will speak whatever I want to say and I'll stand by it till the day I die. It's really difficult being married to a traveller. Just for the fact of you get judged, you get looked at, you get talked about. It's just like not a very nice community to be in for a gorgeous person. But on the other hand, I really do love like your ways and how you treat me. So that's nice. That comes from his traveller side. Paying congestion charges and gas bills and council tax bills. <laughs> Let me tell you something, yeah. You gotta pay it all now, baby! See, when you have to pay a council tax bill and a congestion charge, you, you know have to pay... You know you're full gorgeous. And you have to pay the tickets and you've got to <laughs> really keep on top of bills, gas bills, electric bills. Mm -hmm. You really feel like just going, getting yourself a nice trailer and 
up the road as quick as you can. But no, no, no. that's the bad <laughs> thing is about being married to a, you know, a normal settled down girl. But you know, the good things is this, she really keeps things in perspective for me. So I'm traveling and walking around and they've always got to be like, yeah, I've got to be the mush. I don't, I can just relax, I'm happy. And she's brought that perspective to me life and I really am happy for that. I do think like another positive to being married to a traveler for me is um, there's never a dull moment. Like he brings a bit of excitement and fieriness in my life, which I love, I do love it, I can't lie. A lot of traveler girls call me a wannabe. They call me a lot of nasty names such as prostitute and things like that. But honestly, the way it really does make me feel and I can't even lie, it really makes me feel happy that people really hate me. That means I'm really doing something good and productive in my life. I hate it when people are rude to her and horrible to her. I really do. I really don't like it. But like she says, you know, hate whether, me. whether you love her or you hate her. You gotta respect me. Just because I made a few comments about the community doesn't really give anyone the right to argue with me individually but they just want to make an argument with me for the crack, really. So I think about the messages and comments that Nakia gets, I think she handles them like a G. You, you'd expect me as a traveler to go, oh, I'll do this and I'll do that, but no, I know she can handle her business. Yeah. And when anybody talks badly to her online or on, you know, on comments, she handles it perfect. Thank you everybody for tuning in and watching the first of our six episodes. Next week, we're going to be talking about sex, traditions, and what the future holds for us. And if you've got anything to say to me or her, you put it in the comments box below and we will check it out and we'll respond to any of our comments. Definitely. And don't forget to follow, share, and subscribe to the fabulous YouTube page so you don't miss a thing.